Thanks for spending just a minute thinking about God's truth with me today. Today we focus on the truth of 1 Corinthians 13.3. Chapter 13 of Paul's first letter to the church at Corinth is one of the most famous chapters in the Bible. Although we read it a lot at weddings and anniversaries, the chapter is specifically written to those who follow Jesus. The church at Corinth had a problem. People who claimed to follow Jesus were competing for who could look the most spiritual. They were pridefully divided over disagreements about who was the best teacher, and who was the most spiritually gifted. In the preceding chapter, the Apostle Paul has just taught them that all the spiritual gifts are necessary. They need to work together in harmony to please the Lord. And as chapter 13 begins, Paul now tells them what really matters. It's love. If I give all I possess to the poor and surrender my body to the flames, but have not love, I gain nothing. It's time to start the clock and break it down. Today, the Apostle Paul gives us a test. Any of us can claim to believe in and follow Jesus. But the test that tells whether or not our claim is true is the test of love. Do we love others as ourselves? First one of this chapter teaches that no matter what kind of spiritual gift we may have, if we're not loving, we're just making noise. Verse 2 teaches that great spiritual power and great faith in God are completely nullified if we don't love others. Today's verse teaches that even if we sell everything we have and give it to the poor, even if we become martyrs and die in flames for our faith. If we are not people who love one another, all our financial and physical sacrifice counts for nothing. How does God define love? Well, God defines love as the laying down of our lives for others, even if the others aren't very lovely. While we were still in active rebellion against him, Jesus died for us. So we are to love others in the same way. Any of us can claim to follow Jesus. The test that proves our claim is whether or not we love others as God loves us. Are you a loving person? Claiming to know God without loving others is worthless. This is Pastor Scott saying thanks for watching. If you want to talk to me, it's right here. If you want us to talk to God for you, visit ipray.world. You can also visit the church website, but be sure to like or share or follow or subscribe. Every time you promote these videos, you help somebody else spend just a minute thinking about God's truth. God bless you.